Security is important to everyone, but when you're among the most powerful figures on Earth, no expense can be spared to ensure you're locked down as much as possible. While celebrities hire bodyguards to fend off paparazzi, their details don't hold up to the extreme ends world leaders will go to in order to keep people far more threatening than some hassling photographers away. Ready to meet the most protected presidents in the world? Let's get it on! Kim Jong-un being the supreme leader of North Korea isn't an easy gig. With his father and grandfather having both regularly dealt with assassination attempts, North Korean security has no choice but to rank among the best worldwide. While most world leaders tend to have motorcades escorted by legions of motorcycles and cars, Kim instead has a somewhat strange-looking battalion of men jog alongside his limousine, taking it literally a step further. They surround Kim as he walks. The guards aren't volunteers, instead being chosen from the population based on being men of identity identical height with an appearance close enough to the supreme leader to confuse any would-be snipers, so they're more human shields than just bodyguards. Still, these men are given the most extensive training possible, and only the best performing ones who also prove to be devoutly loyal to the Kim family are selected for Kim's personal escort. The total service force numbers more than 2,000 working different shifts. Kim's also known to travel alongside multiple decoy planes when flying, making it impossible to know which plane the supreme leader's really on board. Sounds a little overboard, but he definitely thinks it's necessary. Narendra Modi India is a rapidly expanding country with over a billion citizens, making their Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, the important leader of more than one-seventh of the world's population, and thus a man in need of round-the-clock protection. Modi is kept safe by the Special Protection Group, basically the Indian Secret Service, an elite group of officers hand-picked from India's police and railway protection forces 3,000 strong. The annual cost of these machine-gun-wielding men in black suits that keep a watchful eye over Modi everywhere he goes is upwards of 83 million dollars. That's a whole lot to be spending on guards, but when you're the leader of the second most populous country on the planet, no expense should be spared. Modi is regularly preceded by motorcades of dozens of bulletproof BMWs, Range Rovers, and Mercedes, cars that you don't often see driving around India, as well as kept under close watch by helicopters and surveillance drones to maintain an eye in the sky over the Prime Minister. The SPG often walk alongside the car carrying the Prime Minister and clear the area surrounding him and anytime he goes anywhere. Recep Tayyip Erdogan Turkey's the bridge between the two incredibly powerful continents of Europe and Asia. With a position like that, it wouldn't be surprising to learn that Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan holds power many wish to take from him by any means necessary. Knowing this, Erdogan's personal protection is of utmost importance, and he's never seen publicly without a massive detail of heavily armed bodyguards. To ensure maximum protection alongside public visibility, rather than the traditional presidential limousine, Erdogan often drives through Istanbul inside a heavily armored bus, waving to citizens behind a massive bulletproof glass pane able to deflect even machine gun fire. What's most impressive about this unique mode of travel is that there aren't just guards inside and around it, but also standing atop it armed with machine guns. Erdogan's security was in full effect in 2016 during an attempted military coup where tanks fired on the Capitol building. Erdogan spoke in front of the Capitol, confidently addressing the people while full military guards surrounded him. While thousands were injured in the attempted takeover, Erdogan himself was completely untouched. Queen Elizabeth the longest reigning monarch in history hasn't made it this far by slacking on security. While the Queen herself might not have much true power over the UK anymore, that hasn't had any effect on just how powerful her seriously souped up security detail is. Having to be a popular figurehead, the Queen must make frequent appearances and have near constant contact with the public, even at the age of 95. So you can imagine that everywhere she goes, security is a major concern. Queen Elizabeth's royal motorcades are composed of England's most talented and deadly soldiers and officers who make up the Royal Guard. While the guards who stand outside Buckingham Palace are famous for not moving no matter what, when it comes to protecting the Queen, these elite guards are anything but stagnant. The reality is, they've taken a vow of silence while working, only broken on rare occasions when aggressive tourists get too close. The Royal Guards are so well trained that they don't take any breaks, not even bathroom breaks. They're even trained to not break their stance if they faint, as sometimes happens on hot days under their heavy uniforms and nine-pound bearskin hats in order to show their dedication to the Queen. If nothing else, the sheer length of the Queen's rule should demonstrate how well-protected she is and always has been. Shinzo Abe 
Shinzo Abe served as Japan's longest running prime minister due to his widespread popularity, but that doesn't mean that his security can be lax. After all, even in countries as safe as Japan, there's always people looking to harm those in power. As Japan's cities are known to be incredibly compact, Abe can't exactly have a full motorcade of armored SUVs and motorcycles surrounding his limousine. So much like his neighbor to the west, his secret service guards are known to jog right alongside his limo when going through tight city streets. Of course, Japan isn't all a cramped city, and even the fittest Olympians couldn't be expected to run alongside a limousine on a freeway. However, rather than shutting down bustling highways for the prime minister's procession, his secret service agents politely lean out the window of moving cars and wave respectfully at oncoming traffic to stop and allow Japan's leader to pass. A country famous for its hyper-efficient public transit, even Japan's own prime minister flows smoothly through the country's infrastructure without making people be late to work on his account. What a nice guy. Donald Trump the President of the United States is known as the leader of the free world, and that's no accident. The US is arguably the most powerful and wealthiest country in the world, being a global leader in technology and military strength. Thus, President Donald Trump has the most modern, effective, and powerful personal security detail on the planet. The Secret Service is famous for their black suits, sunglasses, and earpieces. And that isn't just Hollywood nonsense. Being the President of the United States is the deadliest job in the world, with an 18.6% fatality rate and an almost 10% assassination rate. Even before Trump was the president, he was a celebrity and billionaire with considerably high security needs. The Trump family's protection reportedly cost New York City officials over $1 million every day. That's not including Trump's personal bodyguards, of which he would only select the highest ranking Navy SEALs and other elite ex-military members. Clearly that standard has only gone up with his boost in status. At his inauguration, a caravan of armored trucks overflowing with Secret Service paraded around the president as far as the eye could see, with a full-on procession of hundreds of Secret Service agents walking right alongside the vehicles. I guess it costs a lot to have your mind at rest. Vladimir Putin if there's one thing that Russia is famous for, it's their secretive, dangerously efficient intelligence organizations. President Vladimir Putin himself worked for decades as a Russian security officer, thus having a deeper appreciation for personal security than many other world leaders. While the KGB was the most well-known of these elusive organizations, they were restructured into the Federal Security Bureau, or FSO, in 1991. While the name's different, don't think that this organization is any less lethal than their predecessor, especially when it comes to protecting the leader of Russia. Putin's guard, the presidential secret service, are known to be an elite squad of some of the most highly trained, trustworthy soldiers in Russia. But that hasn't stopped some from posting work selfies with Putin online, which has allowed some insight into the inner workings of the Putin's people, as they're often called. This group numbering an estimated 9,000 guards is behind Putin's motorcades of armored Mercedes trucks, limousines, helicopters, and even spy drones that follow and scope out anywhere Putin goes. They also feature a psychological defense unit, who profile any perceived threats or strange behavior in crowds based on body language or online activity. It pays well to be one of Putin's people, as many former agents have been promoted to powerful positions in the Kremlin. Some have even been given expensive properties in wealthy parts of Russia as rewards. Overall, this may be the most lucrative security position on Earth. Xi Jinping Originally the son of a high-ranking official, Xi Jinping renounced any family ties to success at a young age and, through his own hard work rather than connections, has made his way to being one of the most powerful leaders of the fastest-growing superpower on the planet. As a result of his former status, it's no surprise that Xi takes his safety very seriously and goes to some strong extremes in order to ensure it. Xi is said to have had the most attempts taken on his life of anyone currently alive, which would make sense for the leader of the most populous nation on the planet. However, that also means his protection detail has stopped the greatest number of assassination attempts of any in the world. As a result, Xi doesn't go anywhere without a true cavalry of bodyguards surrounding him. These guards are elite officers from China's Central Security Bureau, basically the Secret Service of China, totaling 8,000 in all according to some sources, although their true secrets remain well guarded. When you have a population of over 1.3 billion, 8,000 is a very small percentage. But that's because these are only the best of the best, most highly trained lethal warriors in all of China. As the Chinese population continues to grow, the measures taken to protect their president will only get stronger, so it's likely that even with the massive amounts of closely placed agents and widespread surveillance in China now, we haven't seen anything yet.